using BPL Cardiac 6208 View Plus. Welcome to the guide for unpacking and operating the BPL Cardiac 6208 View Plus. Unpacking Keep the carton box upright, remove the packing tape and open the flaps to access the accessories carton box. Carefully lift the unit out of the carton box using the integral handle. Remove the polythene cover and check for any damage. Please notify to BPL or the service team if damage is evident. The standard accessories provided with the machine include user manual, rechargeable lithium ion battery, chest electrode, screwdriver, roll paper with a spindle, fuse, limb electrodes, patient cable, cardiac jelly and a power cable. Safety information. Do read the user manual completely before operating the machine and use original accessories supplied by the manufacturer. BPL Cardiac 6208 View Plus is a portable 3-channel ECG machine with a 3.5-inch color display, extensive connectivity and an internal storage for 500 ECGs. At the top panel, there is a 3.5-inch LCD screen, sensitivity key to adjust the gain, recall key to review the patient files that save in the recall window, 1 millivolt or copy key under manual mode to record the 1 millivolt calibration pulse during the recording or under auto mode when the LCD prompts copy, use this key to recall the previously recorded ECG. Mode or reset key to select the recording mode, auto, manual, rhythm or off. Lead switch key to switch between the leads during the manual mode. Print or stop key. Menu with the navigation key and a paper compartment on the left. At the right panel is a patient cable connector, RS-232 socket, external input-output socket and a USB interface. At the left panel is a potential equalization terminal, main supply socket, mains power switch. At the top includes a network port located near the handle. At the bottom panel is a battery compartment, heat emission hole, fuse and BPL label. Installation of the battery. The unit is shipped with the battery plug disconnected. It must be connected and charged before using the ECG. To install the battery, remove the screw and lift out the battery cover. Plug the polarized connector into the compartment and ensure it locks in place. Make sure the battery cable is placed correctly. Place the battery cover back and screw it tightly. To load the paper roll, open the paper compartment carefully. Slot the spindle into the new paper roll and place it in the paper compartment. Close the cover, positioning the paper between the rubber roller and casing of the device. Patient cable connection. Connect the patient cable to the connector and secure them with the two screws. Align all lead wires of the patient cable to avoid twisting and connect the lead wires to the reusable electrodes. The identifiers and the color codes of the electrode connector used comply with the IEC standards. Operation side. Press the on-off key on the control panel directly to turn on the unit. After self-test, 6208 view is ready for examination and recording. Display layout. At the top is the patient ID, sex, age, record mode, whether auto, manual, rhythm or off, heart rate, current time and the battery capacity. Then is the ECG trace view and at the bottom is a filter, gain indication, record speed and lead indication. To record the ECG in auto mode, press the mode or reset key to select the auto mode displayed in the top right LCD corner. Then, to input the patient information, use the navigation up-down key. Enter the patient information using the navigation right key to edit or select and then press the OK button. Then, use the navigation down key to go to the first name, last name, change the gender, 
edge and save it using the print or stop key. Then print or stop to start printing. Now to record the ECG in manual mode, press the mode or reset for the manual mode. Same can be done for the rhythm for ECG recall. Press the recall to access the recall window for the saved patient files. To transmit all the files, use the up down to select transmit all. Then press print or stop to initiate the file transmission. In the system setup screen, first is the work mode. In the work mode setup window, press the navigation key to move the cursor among the different checkboxes and press menu or print key to select the checkbox. Coming to the mode option, first is the auto mode by default and the commonly used mode. 10 second ECG data can be sampled, analyzed and printed in this mode. Then is the rhythm mode. Rhythm lead ECG waveform of 1 or 3 lead can be sampled for long time, mainly used to diagnose frequent arrhythmia. Then is RR mode. Next is the manual mode. In the manual mode, the sampling, filter, print time can be adjusted manually. ECG data of arbitrary length can be sampled. Next is the auto display style. It is the format of the ECG waveform you would like to configure on the display screen. Sampling mode, pre-sample mode, 10 second ECG data sampled before will be printed. Real time sample printout of the live data. Then is the rhythm style. An auto arrhythmia detection can be enabled or disabled. Filter or lead setup. AC filter, mainly used to reduce noise or interventions. DFT filter, the purpose of this filter is to reduce baseline fluctuations. EMG filter, used to suppress the disturbance caused by the strong muscle tremor. Low pass filter, restricts the bandwidth of the input signal. Then, we have the rhythm lead selection and the lead sequence, whether standard or Cabrera. Next is the record info setup, record style, print format required for the printout. Then we have the record sequence, whether the lead needs to be printed, sequential or synchronized can be selected. Next is the auto record layer, then a rhythm record mode. Save paper prints after sampling of 10 second ECG on a single paper. In quickly prints immediately but in a detailed layout. Speed gain by default is 10 millivolt. AGC can be enabled or disabled. Baseline adjustment page marker. Patient info setup to personalize the details required while registering or entering the patient at the initial time. Transmission setup ECG data in DAT. SCP DICOM format can be transmitted to the PC through SC1515 software. To transmit the data, the server IP needs to be matched and easy transmission of data happens. File setup, auto save, dropping down to three options, to ECG means save automatically to the machine, to U disk if connected save it to the USB and off not to save the ECG record. Then is the file format, DAT and PDF is by standard, SCP, FDA and DICOM will be enabled only against request while purchasing. Delete after transmission or export option. Next is the date and the sound setup. Date can be set, date, time, according to the 24 hours or 12 hours can be set, key volume, hint. QRS volume and notify volume can be set according to the convenience of the user. Other setup, institution name, enter the hospital or the institution name, demo setup can be enabled or disabled, options for external input output, language by default is English, advanced setup can be enabled once the password is inputted. Now just a quick look on the advanced setup, there is a barcode option. Device information, functions, measurement and analysis, 
it can be enabled or disabled also can be just measurement then we have an upgrade option language setup other setup system test and return option switching off press the on off key to power down the unit after completing the ecg record after turning off the machine carefully disconnect the ecg cable untangle the wires and clean the gel from the electrode if machine will not be used for an extended period it is recommended to consider periodic maintenance of charging and powering on the device lastly always follow recommendation and safety protocol of accurate and reliable ecg recording this concludes the process of unpacking and operating the bpl cardiac 6208 view plus